Universal Machining Industries was started in 1997 and we moved into the facility that we're in in 2001. What matters most to me in my business is are, are, there's two things, it's my employees and my customers. The, the employees that we have at Universal Machining are uh, very dedicated and you know they're out providing for their families and, and, uh, and themselves. So, you know, they're a huge part of our success. We're a, primarily a job shop. We do aerospace and oil and gas work, as well as some commercial work. The uh, industry in general seems to be trending towards a more of a global market. So in 2009, we decided to purchase a system, and we started looking around some of the various systems out in the market. We wanted something that we could do quick turnaround. We wanted something that we could uh, work with our customers on their demands for short lead times or a short turnaround or possibly a proto part that they need built in a, in a short turnaround and with the systems that we have, the two MMCs that we have, we're able actually to help them achieve those goals and uh, primarily that is due because uh, a lot of the work actually stays set up on the system. Some of the tooling is already in the machine so we don't have to do the setup um, we try to stock some of the material for those items and uh, so we are able to turn products basically within a day at times to uh, help our customers meet those demands. The jump into the automation with the Makino MMC palletized system, uh, we're able to actually produce a lot more parts. We're, we're hitting machine utilizations of 90 plus percentage on a day-to-day -day basis and it also has helped us with our managing our inventory, our whip, our work in progress. We reduced our raw material in up to 25% uh, at any given time because we're actually running smaller lot sizes. So we recognize the need to have equipment that we could reduce labor. We run parts down into the tenths of thousandths, two, three tenths, and uh, we're able to achieve that consistently on the Makino systems. We feel like we've armed ourselves for the future with the equipment we have. We have some of the best equipment that's on the market sitting on our shop floor. And we have been working with some tier one aerospace companies and generating products for those. And we, we uh, would like to build that into a world-class operation.